Congratulations. You found the Twin Cities Hit Show with Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck. Well, what do you know? It's time to go. Listen to the Twin Cities Hit Show. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Reach for this one. (laughs) And now, a real hit show. And remember what got you here. Live from the Twin Cities. And most important, don't get caught up thinking about winning or losing. It's the Twin Cities Hit Show. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get laid. Let's get this hit show started. You know, I know we were talking about finding a new theme song, but I just really love this theme song. (laughs) We need to replace that voice, though. Let's get this hit show started. No, never. No way, dude. Who is that guy? BPJ forever. Ben Patrick Johnson. Ben Patrick Johnson, the voice of Hollywood and also the voice of... The The Twin Twin Cities Hit Show. Show. Hey, everybody. I'm Rusty Gatenby. Chuck Gallup here. Courtney McClain. And it's Monday, and we all had a wonderful weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I know Chuck did, because he, uh, he's late, because he was out carousing mm-hmm. the entire weekend. Yeah, mm-hmm. so <laughs> Love is in the air. Oh, it's so awesome. I'm so happy we all have people to sleep with during the spring. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys, I let an I love you slip this morning. <sighs> oh, Jesus. How, do you, how does it slip? I was thinking about it all morning, and I was like, Courtney, it's too soon. It's too soon. Don't say it. It's yeah. too soon. And then he, and then I was leaving his house, and he locks the door behind me, and I, <laughs> we just had you a locked, little... Wait, he locks the door behind me. <laughs> <laughs> that might he's be a all, sign. He's all, get out, quick. <laughs> and then he gave me a piece um, of paper that said, don't ever come back and get within 100 feet. <laughs> and so we had our little goodbye kiss, and it just, I was just like, I love you. And I was all, oh my God, I just said that. I just said, and he was like, I love you too. Oh my oh. God. Oh. That happened when? This morning. It wow. happened like an hour ago. <laughs> okay, it's time for a uh, uh, staff meeting because, uh, as you recall, <laughs> your singledom and your dating is part of our show, so you can have it's to put it up I know. We to talk I, what about is this. happening? You guys. The cello guy will still let you go out on dates, won't yeah. he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's an interesting <laughs> thing that you should mention. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, it's one of They're already those. looking to diversify. It's one, of those. <laughs> one of those relationships. <laughs> it's been fun screwing you singly for a while, but let's try something new. <laughs> You know, uh, it's like with our culture and society, I just feel like I love you. There's so much weight on it. But it's like, I don't know. You can fall in love quickly with somebody. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean we're going to get married. Don't look at me. Yeah, because <laughs> I did exactly that. I fell, I fell in love quickly and got married. Yeah. So there. Hey, and, and you know what? And who knows? There's all, all kinds of possibilities. Marriage so who is knows? amazing. Yeah. It's a great institution. <laughs> I, I hope you get involved and try it. Well, well, lots to talk about on the show today. There's some uh, stuff that happened over the weekend in the entertainment news. Some of it uh, happened, r- and some of it is controversial. Uh, some of it happened right here in beautiful Minneapolis. This is live music from the Target Center on Saturday. He sounds the exact same. This is Saturday night from someone's cell phone. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. And the reviews are in. It had been 27 years since Stevie Wonder had performed in uh, Minnesota. Oh, wow. And he played a three-hour show. And the reviews are in. Uh, John Bream from uh, the Minneapolis Star Tribune loved it. Uh, He says, let me get it up here. Well, the headline is, Stevie Review, just a wonderful performance. Mm -hmm. Uh, And he says, uh, at the end of the night, he claims that he may come back at Christmas time for two more nights. What? So if Whoa. you missed it this time. I'm there. Wow. Yeah. He, he had a show last night too, right? So two nights? Yeah, Sunday after being on, escorted on stage by Soul Star India, Aria, uh, he started with a little yeah. preaching about the need for harmony and love in the world. Oh. So, He's yeah. He's not wrong. <laughs> I made... I made uh, once. I made my friend in New York a shirt that was vi- um, Stevie Wonder's face, and then it said "Vision" underneath it. Do oh, you yeah. see what I did there? 
Yeah. Oh, you know oh. what? That was that was. It was Sunday. It wasn't a Saturday it was, night. Yeah, it, was it was Sunday last night. night. Oh, was my last bad. Night. My bad. So but still. Night. So that's fresh out of the uh, YouTube world there. Mm-hmm. It was just last night. My, uh, my dog, uh, believe it or not, a strange story, met his birth sister yesterday by a strange sense of, set of coincidence. And the, uh, Your dog? My dog met his mm-hmm. birth sister. And uh, they, uh, the owner was going to Stevie Wonder last night. Came all oh. the way down from Duluth with his pug. Yeah. And a set of circumstances that was amazing. Went to Stevie Wonder. The dogs didn't care, did they? They're you know, I felt like they they didn't get the gravity of the situation. Yeah. This is your birth sister, and you're like, oh, it's just another pug at a pug yeah. meetup. They're Whatever. Like, what? Does she have a butt I can smell? That's yeah. all I care about. Yeah. It's Wow. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, no. Let's get back to the dogs. Enough about you, <laughs> fellow guy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> let's get back to... Smelling, <laughs> smelling your butts. Uh-huh. Yeah. See what I did? I intimated <laughs> Uh, anyway, the mayor's uh, husband was on stage for mm-hmm. the show Sunday night, not Saturday night. Mm-hmm. My bad. So it sounds like it was a lot of fun, and uh, I am gonna. I, I'm very upset with myself that I did not go. Well, now uh. you might. It sounds like you might have a couple more chances. Yeah, in, in December, around Christmas. Yeah. Sweet. How much were tickets? Were they crazy or are they reasonable? Uh, you know, I haven't heard, but mm-hmm. I'm guessing they weren't cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he God, sounds. How old is he now? Like sixty-four. Oh, uh, and he sounds—he still sounds like he's in his twenties. Yeah. Well, you know the other thing would suck, and people don't talk about this much for whatever reason. But he's lost his vision in his old age. Uh huh. We'll let that one just SMH. Slide there first. <laughs> Haft- hashtag SMH. Oh. I'm shaking my head at Chuck. Speaking of uh, speaking of awkward jokes, the iHeart Radio concert and award show was on NBC. Yep. Jamie Foxx was the host. Oh yes, I heard about this. And he said a joke that's getting ripped on on the Twitter world. Having it's a transgender jokey joke. Some groundbreaking performances here too tonight. We got Bruce Jenner will be here doing some musical performances. He's doing a his and her duet all by himself. He's getting applause. Breaking soda, uh, the baking, baking soda. soda. I don't know what that second I'm part just is. Busting your balls. Yeah. Baking soda. He goes, I'm just busting your balls. While I still can. I think Give that's a all. funny joke. Yeah. Is, was Bruce there? Uh, no, they put up oh. a big picture of Bruce Jenner. Gender. Uh, gender, yeah. And I guess in the Twitter world, he's getting ripped on. Uh, you know, people Oh, are let's upset. talk about this. Let's, let's take a moment to talk. What do you okay. think? What do you think? Well, it, well, I mean, obviously, none of You're us are hippie. trans. In I, from the hippie. I, in from the hippie. None of us are trans. Uh, I do have, I think I have one trans friend who I would consider a close friend. Um, and that would be something that I would definitely have to go to her about and be like, <laughs> um, okay, is this okay? I personally thought it was funny. I think that it, I, I, I mean, the joke... To me, I don't think there was anything offensive about it. Yeah. It's not like it's a secret. He went from being a man to, well, he's going to be a woman. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dramatic. I feel like we can at least make a joke about Mm -hmm. it. My problem is, uh, first of all, I didn't think it was that funny of a joke. Uh It's like, really? It's It's not even that funny. It's like... It's, joke. It's, well, it's sounds, joke? Yeah. Okay, fair. sounds to me like a fourth grade uh, yeah. at the out in the playground joke. And like, oh, that's really? not really that yeah. smart. Yeah, he can yeah. do it. His and her duet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the other problem <laughs> I think that's happening is there was a movement, a feeling uh, of acceptance that was building. Mm-hmm. So is that a knock? Does it slow down the acceptance no. that seemed to be going on with that Netflix show? Uh, transparent, mm-hmm. winning uh, you know Emmy awards, and mm-hmm. the conversation now is becoming more accepting. Mm-hmm. Does that give it a baby step backwards? I don't know. No, uh, I think you I bring don't... it to the consciousness. Yeah, yeah, I personally don't think so. And also, I mean, this is obviously an opportunity for us to all talk about like what yeah. is appropriate to say and what isn't. And, uh, you know, how to, because, because we are all kind of going through, I actually, so I hosted the pro choice resources bullathon last Mm -hmm. week and there was, and it went quite well, it went great. And there was actually a young person there who, uh, well, there's a team there called the lady bits defense league (laughs) and they have, Oh, what do they defend? (laughs) Stand back from the vagina. You guys, these bowling teams, there were the the, vagina's about to blow. Cover everyone. (laughs) There were the, there were the, uh, 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 big Klatowskis. Uh. There were the uh, Clitorious B.I.G. Like, these are the team names See, there. that's funnier yeah. humor than right. Jamie Foxx's yeah, joke. No shit. Agreed. But anyway, so this kid was there, and she was, uh, he, she was pointing out the, um, 
the uh, uh, Lady Bits Defense League posters, mm. and I, I believe that the this young child, this person would have wanted me to refer to him as a he. Um, he mm. said, you know, not everybody who has those bits are considers th- themselves a lady. He's like, so I want, I would like to e- educate them. And uh, seriously, this this guy was like 16 years old, and he had this big poof of bleached hair that was like bubble gum and like. Uh, blue colored, <laughs> and I, and I told him I said you know what teach us because p- even people my age in my late thirties like I mean and I don't watch a whole lot of things but when I saw Glee once I was like this show's gonna save the world <laughs> because my shows our shows growing up didn't have the diversity that show yeah. that that the media has nowadays and it's like yeah you should go talk to those people and and just like express your feeling about it and you know not tell anybody they're wrong but like. This is the possibility. This is what people could be feeling. Anyway, so I think that we basically need to hear from the trans community about it because they're the ones that have Well, the final give sight. us a call, trans community, or go on our Facebook or we'll tweet us and we'll talk about it. Yeah, totally. I, by the way, I saw the finale to Glee. Mm. Wasn't it? Was it just recently? Yeah, just oh, recently. The show yeah. is now done. It's not coming mm-hmm. back. They, they try to answer a lot of questions. There was a while there where Glee was a tradition in yeah. my house, like right after dinner on Glee night. Mm-hmm. My two kids and I would watch Glee. Mm-hmm. And Best night to watch Glee on Glee night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glee night, yeah. Let's watch Glee on uh, There Rocky were Dead some night. moments where I'm like, ooh, is this a little too much for mm-hmm. my, at the time, 10-year-old? Yeah. You know, but it's family hour, broadcast television, mm-hmm. so it's supposed to be safe time to have the you know kids watch. Uh, but overall... Uh, I thought Glee was a heck of a show, mm-hmm. and for many reasons, not uh, just uh, for the social commentary, but it, they had funny humor, mm-hmm. and their music ended up selling on the charts. Mm-hmm. Those Glee songs oh, yeah, that's yeah. True. ended up charting on <laughs> iTunes uh-huh. and selling, yeah. which uh, now that new one that uh, Empire Show has done just recently with oh, their yeah. music and yeah. soundtrack. But All right, so also on the... Uh, yeah, I was just. Uh, I also love about, what I love about Glee too is that it. I feel like it shows people that are watching like uh, instead of being just pretty people in Hollywood, like all those kids had talent. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. some of their covers, gosh, I, I would put them on my workout oh, mix. Right. I'm not ashamed to <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. If guys at the gym knew I was working out to Glee, <laughs> are you doing? Isn't that I- that, that red that rusty some Gadden Gadden? Oh, he's listening to Glee now. He's listening to Glee. I always knew the guy was queer. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, nice haircut, Rusty. Oh, I got a haircut. Yeah, you oh. did. You got them so, all cut. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Here, let me just do something with a little more here. That, oh, okay, there, 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 that's better. That puffs it all up. Can you trim <laughs> my eyelashes? I mean, my eyebrows. <laughs> I need an eyebrow trimming. Oh, my God. <laughs> fake eyelashes on women. Yes. The fake eyelashes thing. Uh, there was a gal I served the other day, and she had these thick ass fake eyelashes on, and she was. What did Jennifer order? <laughs> Um, you know, it just it, Jennifer is gorgeous. It, She's beautiful. And so is this gal. And so is this gal. But when I'm looking at her eyelashes, I'm like, I kind of don't want to serve you any food because I feel like those are going to clump off into your food. It's just like so she had like, bad ones. Well, no, I th- Jennifer. They were are you they were too thick, and I think the ones that are I th- I like the individual ones that make them like yeah. a little bit longer and like mm-hmm. they're very very delicate. But I feel like the really thick fake eyelashes they look like hair. Can, they look like armpit are you writing hair this down, Chuck? Well, have writing you even considered down. like getting you know, hooked up with Fabulash? Have you tried Fabulash? It's an amazing I product. Tried I help market Fabulash on my Facebook page. I I am blessed with beautiful lashes, but so oh, wow. I, yeah, and so confidence. humble brag, <laughs> humble brag. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, come on, these crazy lashes. lashes that women are wearing that it looks like it's more hair. It looks like you have a All beard right. on your face. I guess since we're sharing, All I right, do sorry. have, I have pubic hair extensions. <laughs> yeah. I just want, you know, a thicker like mane. Dreads. Hey, wait, help me with this. Was this yours? Oh, oh my yeah. gosh! Oh my god! All right. So, uh, yeah, back to the iHeartRadio <clears throat> Awards. Let's pretend that those last several minutes did not happen. <laughs> this is Madonna. Guess who's her guitar accompanist? Accompanying? Yes. How do you say that? A- accompanist. Is that a co- it? Accompanist. There you go. Accompanist. Accompany my mouth. Guess person. who's on the guitar for her? Acoustic. 
the person on guitar ended up being the big winner last night. Yeah. Won like three awards, yeah. song of the year, singer of the year. Taylor Swift. It's Taylor Swift oh, on oh, guitar. Oh, that's awesome. Ah! Doesn't sing, just is yeah. on stage with Madonna and playing the guitar for Madonna. That's awesome. Wow. And wearing all of her clothes, unlike another big pop star. Who? Which? Uh, Explain yourself. Miley, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, She's yeah. just doing it. At, Are you at, complaining about a, a young lady, a young legal no, lady gorgeous. not wearing her clothes? I, no, she's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. I just thought that was kind of cool on both their parts. That yeah. Taylor's like, absolutely, I'll just play guitar for you. Heck but what yes. I do like about that, though, is it's all about the music. Miley, I feel it's all about the sex, and she's gorgeous, and I think she's talented or whatever. But you know, She's had whatever. a couple of pop hits, yeah. Miley. That yeah, but you know, Taylor Swift, and I'm not a country fan, really is... I mean, to get she's out less country and more pop. Right. These days. Yeah. But in fact, be- I don't know if she can go back to country oh, at yeah, this no. point. Her yeah. pop music has become yeah. so large. Yeah. I suppose she could do whatever yeah, she yeah, wants. Yeah, she'll do whatever Taylor she wants. Taylor Swift, man. But yeah, I, uh, oh my God, I would play from Madonna. What? I love this song. So last night, Justin got awarded kind of a Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, <laughs> Innovator Award. Yeah. Lifetime Achievement. Congratulations yeah. on your five years of being on this earth. Right? I know. <laughs> no, he's been around for 20-some years now. You go back to yeah. InSync. He's been producing stuff 20, since he was like 12. InSync is not 20 years old. Oh, Weren't they around in the late 90s? You're right. No? Yeah, no, yeah you're I right. guess. Well, he has done a lot. I do like some of his hits. So he w- he had a speech last night, and uh, I found this moment funny. He actually has to uh, mm, scold his fans for a second. Here, listen to this. So uh, growing up in school, uh, no one ever called me anything close to an innovator. Uh, they called me different. They called me weird. They called me a couple other words I can't say on TV. Uh, uh, thankfully, my hey, I'm going to talk right now. Hey. Yep. And I love you, but you're breaking my concentration. (laughs) Well, I think that's a first. I don't Mm -hmm. remember anyone telling fans to shut the hell up, basically. (laughs) Well played. If they're not a stand up comedian, yeah. Hey, remind me about the conversation I had with my mother about Angelina Jolie this week. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chuck, what was that conversation you had with your mom? Um, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Over the weekend. Um, No, we were actually took my mom to Home Depot to replace her faucet, and we went um, uh, shopping. And as we're shopping on her own, she said, Hey, how about this Angelina Jolie? You know, she has. I'm like, Yo, funny you mention her. We had a little chat about her the other day. And she said she had a speech somewhere where she was talking about growing up in high school and um, and and preaching about embrace people who are different because she was teased in high school and she stood out and she spoke up for what she believed in, blah, blah, blah. Basically, all the stuff we were talking about. Um, and I didn't even beat her down like I tried to oh, with you two. So look at how yeah. you've become enlightened. Yeah. 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 So See, all you got to nice. do, all you got to do is look past all the surface shit. Like yeah. you were just talking about Miley Cyrus too. And it's like, mm-hmm. there's many things to complain about Miley Cyrus, but at the same time, come on, you're the same kind of guy who likes any kind of eye candy. And that's exactly kind of like what she is. Oh yeah. She and is. so like, you can't, you and can't, me. that's what I'm, that's why I'm staring too. uncomfortably at Rob. You can't be like, you can't be like, oh, Miley Cyrus, sex, 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 and then go whack off to her when you get home. Because that's what so many people do. I don't, do wait, to still have I don't wait to get I don't wait to get home. Just do confession. we still have cameras at Chuck's house? How do we do we get to this? I thought we disconnected those after a horrible incident. viewing session. Uh, incident. Anyway. All those empty Are we- jars of peanut yeah. butter. That poor dog of yours. Crunchy. Don't use crunchy. That stuff hurts. <laughs> Jeez. This is a horrible are we, Monday. Are we done? <laughs> oh, no, we're having fun. We're riffing, you guys. Are we done with the Justin Timberlake thing? Yeah, why? You well, no, uh, not necessarily, but um, I was just thinking about how long InSync has been around. Yeah. And I may have told you this story that when I used to be a wedding DJ mm-hmm. back in 2001, uh-huh. I, on December 2nd, 2001, I DJed a after party at the San Diego Sports Arena in which to which I had to be escorted through the backstage area. <coughs> oh, yeah. Because I found out that InSync was playing. And I thought I was doing like a staff holiday party. And I get there and they're like, ah, the crew will probably be here too. And then this dude walks up with a uh, walkie talkie and he's like, you know what's happening here tonight? And I'm like, yeah, staff party and the crew is going to be here. He's all, the band will probably be here too. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then so fast forward to me standing on a little stage. Yeah. Uh, underneath the San Diego Sports Arena in this little bar next to the whole of InSync. 
Oh. And Justin Timberlake pointing to my CD book and telling me not to play the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> um, but I did anyway because a guy came over and said, will you please play Backstreet's back? Tell him Dave Brown requested it. Not thinking that Dave Brown is a fake name. And so I played it. And then this other guy named Tim, who I called the sixth in sync member, came running up and he was like, She didn't know. She didn't know. I'm like, Yeah, I did because Justin Timberlake told me not to. Justin. Justin. Wow. You defied the timber. I defied the timber. Um, and then the, the other button on that night was just that uh, Justin came up later and asked for the mic and then was like, hey, everybody, it's Britney's birthday. So when you see her at the bar, buy her a drink. And then Britney Spears was about as far away from me as Chuck is right now. And when led and, to her spiral. And I just sort of went, oh, my God, what is happening? It was the uh, arguably one of the weirdest nights of my life. You Did you get tipped? Uh, I don't remember. I, I don't they think better. so. She got because... roofied by Justin Timberlake is what you're trying to tell us. <laughs> So for, anyway, good story. For me, good story. Thanks for sharing. For me, over the weekend, there was some breaking news that had to unbreak very quickly, but I was excited because one of the uh, most unique voices in rock history comes from this band. It's not more, probably one of their most yeah. recognizable songs, but sounds like In Excess and Michael you know? Hutchins. Uh-huh. In- no. It does sound like an excess. It's not, a, no. it's not an excess. As soon as he sings, you'll go, oh. Anyway, there's a movie that's been in the works for years. Empty spaces. What are we living for? Come on. We Freddie are the Mercury. champions. Oh, Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Rhapsody. Yeah. Queen. Oh, oh, I wouldn't. Yeah. Okay, now I hear it. Sorry. So I planned the show must go on because it sounded like the show was going to go on. They announced on Saturday that Sasha Baron Cohen is oh. back in the project, yes. writing, producing, and starring in the Freddie Mercury story. Perfect. And it's been sanctioned yeah. by the band. Yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. He's a great fit on a number of levels. Like four hours later, retraction. What? What? Yeah. He's what? not back. It was a joke. No! Oh, what a dick. Sasha what a bad joke. Oh, silly. You always do this, Sasha. The manager, the current manager of Queen, said at some function that, yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen is back. He's going to write, produce, and he's going to play all four members of <laughs> Queen. <laughs> you know, physically, they look like he'd each other, but yeah. would he have to limp sync? Because singing Freddie Mercury mm-hmm. is near yeah, impossible. Yeah, hard. Speak for yourself. I could totally nail Freddie Mercury. Um, no. As we learned in uh, Borat, the movie, he can sing, though. Oh, I forgot how good Borat was, that movie. Yes. I've never seen it. Yeah, I still watch it. Right. He's that- singing this with real rednecks yes. who yeah. don't get the joke right. and are chiming in yeah. and singing. Yes. Yeah. I love this movie. Have you seen the Ali G show? Though it's just yes. Oh God! It's I used good. to watch the Ali G show on a regular basis, yeah. and I never saw any of uh, Sasha Baron Co- yeah. Cohen's movies. Though uh, Rebecca, uh, I still have your DVD. Here's I'll get it back to you. Well. Borat in character on Fox and Friends. Oh yes. Hey, we're approaching election day here Gretchen in the U.S. Carlson. How, what's the political scene like where you come from? Uh, it is a very similar to your one, except <laughs> instead of the man with the most votes who wins. It is the man who can carry a woman against her will for the longest. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying it's a sexist society is where you come from? That men and women aren't equal? Of course not. In my country, we say it is a god, then man, then horse, then dog, then woman, then a kratzuli, and, <laughs> and then a little rat. What, what was that last? Kratzuli. What is that? What's a kratzuli? <laughs> Nothing. It's, it's he made it. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, oh. It's <laughs> beneath a woman. <laughs> 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 then Kratzuli. I'm all, wait, I want to know what I'm above in this country. <laughs> Nothing. I want to know what I can boss around. I think Queen uh, Brian May and uh, Roger Taylor go back to Sasha Baron Cohen and let him do the damn movie. Why wouldn't they let him? Because they said we don't want the movie to be a joke. We want oh. it to be taken seriously. Well, he, might he be could able to do, do it if you write it that way. That man is talented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Maybe breaking... they should write it if they want it to be so yeah. freaking serious. Yeah. Breaking news this morning: John Stewart's replacement yes. just announced this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a co- comic from South Africa named Trevor Noah. Here's a moment of Trevor's first 
Apparently, he's only been on The Daily Show three times, and now he's taking yeah. over cool. yeah, The Daily Show. But here's uh, from his first appearance on The Daily Show. Welcome back oh. to the show! Ladies and gentlemen, th- th- this is a-, a great night for us. We're always excited uh, on the show to find new, talented voices that can contribute uh, to our program. So we are very pleased to welcome our newest contributor from South Africa, Mr. Trevor Noah. Trevor, thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm, I'm still a bit nervous, to be honest. Between your cops and, uh, frankly, your Ebola. I, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> your Ebola, my friend, it's not our... Believe me, he misspoke. You, you are from Africa. It's your Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. South Africa, John. We haven't had a single case in over 18 years. In fact, my friends warned me. They were like, Trevor, don't go. Don't go to the U.S. You'll catch Ebola. And I was like, you know what, guys? Just because they had a few cases of Ebola doesn't mean we should cut off travel there. That would be ignorant, right? (laughs) (laughs) So he gets political humor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that would be ignorant. I get (laughs) your point, though, Trevor. but, But you're not saying that things in Africa... Uh, 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 are are better than they are in America, are you? Uh, No, 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 I'm not saying that. You guys are saying that. The United States right now incarcerates more Mm African-Americans as a percentage than apartheid South Africa did. Uh, The race gap in wealth in the United States right now between the median white family and the median black family is 18-fold. That's greater than the black-white wealth gap was in apartheid South Africa. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see he yeah. might slip in nice. quite nicely. Yeah. 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 Wow. So Trevor Noah, I'd, mm. I'd never heard of him. I guess I saw him either, on that, yeah. that appearance on The Daily Show, but they said they had open auditions. They were looking at everyone, male, yeah. females, and the producers said, no, this mm. is the guy. He's got the right smarts and sense of humor, Yeah, and so he's our guy. Is Liz Winstead still involved in that show in any way? I think oh, she's shut up. I think she's backed away from creative you, control. Okay, never mind. Sorry. See, you Liz, know what happens? I, every every I, woman <laughs> assumes I'm being sarcastic I or went, quippy. I went, into, I went into this place where uh, I remember it was somebody else being like, all Liz Winstead talks about is how she created The Daily Show, and I'm like, well, yeah, I'd fucking still talk about it too. And, um, yeah. and then I, I assumed that person was oh, Chuck no. for a second oh there, so God. I apologize, Oh, Chuck, apology for, accepted, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Her one hit wonder, but what a hit! Though, oh my god, I guess, yes, yeah. Right? Well, she still comes back and does shows here. And I'm segueing. her brother's the mayor. The here's the here's mayor. my segue. There's someone who had a one hit wonder who was in the hospital this weekend. Uh, happened yesterday. He had one hit back in 1970, but his song has been used on like five different movies. Uh, he lives off just that one song. He was in a crash. Uh, a motorcycle struck their car. The motorcyclist died. He is in critical condition. But oh, here's his one hit. Yes. Space. He's been able to live off this one song <laughs> since 1970. Yeah. Now it sounds like he's yeah. living was, off it on life support. It was just in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. Yeah. Uh, it was featured in Ron Howard's Apollo 13, yep. a whole handful of movies. But uh, Norman Greenbaum, a Jewish oh. guy who sings about Jesus. We're very talented, us. He sings about Jesus in this. Mm-hmm. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for your harmonies there? I thought it was this part. Here it comes. Here, let me jump in here. <laughs> jump in, Chuck. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Lost here. my opportunity. I wish I could see. I wish people could see Chuck's face just now. <laughs> Here's Norman's uh, feelings on a one hit. Things are you known for? Really? I mean, one good thing. That's all you need to do. One good thing. One good thing. That's all you need to do. So I hope he gets better. (laughs) Norman (laughs) Greenbaum in uh, critical condition. Uh, Before we go to break, our guest is here. He's yawning. He's bored shitless listening to this show. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's... And his mic's not on. I'm going to turn his mic on. Is my mic on now? Hey, now look at you. What's up? Good morning, Mike. Is it on? (laughs) Yeah, it's your on. Oh, man. Walked in, in sync, Miley Cyrus. (laughs) I know. This is spirit in the sky, (laughs) man. (laughs) 
Oh, I hope that's that a guy party dies. mix. That's a terrible song. Oh, you don't like that I song? I hope that guy dies. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like that. I like that song. Anyone ever see the movie Michael with John Travolta where he yeah. plays an angel? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was it in that one? <laughs> it plays like six times in that fucking movie. <laughs> well, you're the one that watched it, dude. So, no. uh, I mean, in his defense, itself, he was high as hell. The arc itself of Travolta being an angel with actual <laughs> wings that he hides with the trench coat is yeah. fucking hysterical. <laughs> it is. That's a solid motion picture. Right there. <laughs> that's a solid yeah, that's a solid motion sound. picture, and this song sucks. Sounds like oh, a documentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did not deserve the hype of Travolta as an angel. <laughs> He's well, a Scientologist. Before like, we go to break, I found this as I was doing my little tapping through the internets over the weekend. Of course, Megan Trainer's like had because three you know hits. She's not, she's not a one-hit wonder. She's now had three, at least. You don't like this song? Um, no. I feel like some of this is uh, synthesized electronic. Well, we've all... Like some of it? Yeah, I feel like just a, <laughs> some of it. So we've all heard that song, but did you hear the uh, this version of it? Because you know I'm all about Debbie's, about Debbie's. Better? Much better. Thank yeah, you. I, yeah. Right, I'd listen to this one if I had to. Who is it? They're called uh, European Jazz. European. Yeah. <laughs> European. European. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size, dude. But I can shake Thumbs up now? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I like this better. Two stubby thumbs up. I thought it was pretty cool. There should be a rule where whoever plays the song better gets the royalties for it. <laughs> yeah, right. you know I mean? Like, they just, they own this song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always like when... That would be yeah. a good rule. I'm like, that is a good, is a good rule. rule. That's yeah. like the talent wins. The talent, talent wins. wins. 99 Luft Balloons. Like, they should have the royalties over that band who played 99 Red Balloons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, that's, that's the same song. band. Yeah. Nina? No, impossible. Luft it is. 99 no, because the second one was in German, so no way. Nope, it's the same. I know. Oh, okay. that, was, that, that was the premise. I, I, it was a bad joke. I'm That's sorry. all right. We're not giving. Don't we have a break to, to go to? We do. We're going to go to a break. We're going to come right back with our guest. Introduce our guest, Mr. Mike Lester, local comedian, I, Acme regular. I'm here, guys, and he loves this song. God damn it! We'll be right back. <laughs> Don't let your computer problems drive you mad. We are MacMen, Minnesota's premier tech consultants and problem solvers for Macs, mobile devices, troubleshooting, training, and much more. No more dragging your computer all over town because we come to you. We love making house calls to your home or small business. MacMen, call 612-345-8005. The Alive and Social Network is alive and growing. From the best in sports, music, movies, and beer, Alive and Social is what all the cool kids click on. Featuring characters like Radio Rebel Jeff DeBay, Star Tribune pundit Jim Suhan, Unfiltered, and television veteran and handsome man, Rusty Gatenby. You can also taste the Minnesota Pubcast with Jason and Molly. Join the band with live band karaoke night from legendary O'Gara's in St. Paul and the live music showcase from Shamrocks. Yes, a live and social network does indeed rock and roll. The Jeff DeBay Show, Jim Suhan Unfiltered, the Rusty Gatenby Review, the Minnesota Pubcast with Jason and Molly, live band karaoke, and Shamrock's live music showcase. Join the fun. Be alive and social with the Alive and Social Network.
with Suhan Unfiltered, sports columnist for the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Jim Suhan presents in-depth conversations with the best writers and sports personalities in the area. Suhan brings professional journalism flavor without the verbal censoring. Find out what unfiltered really means only on the Alive and Social Network. SuhanUnfiltered.com. You're listening to the Twin Cities Hit Show with Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck. Say it three times fast. We just dare you. I'm going up the country, babe, don't you want to go? I'm going up the country, babe, don't you want to go? That's right, we're keeping the music old school. Dude, new band, though. Can I just say that the Mrs. Band, do you remember them? They were yes. like our fourth show guests. They oh, tweeted gee. at us. Yeah, I saw that. To yeah. say what? Just Wear yellow for Seth, Austin Mom's blog. I'm not sure hmm. what that means, but apparently we are to wear yellow. Today? Sounds yesterday. Like charity or yes- something. Oh, was yesterday. it yesterday? I don't oh. know. Dang it. Anyway, well, back to Mike Lester. <laughs> Some Susan Great segue. Coleman shit. <laughs> uh, war in Haiti and my feet itch. Oh, back to Mike Lester. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about wearing yellow in Haiti, guys. What's your deal? You're old. What's my deal? Yeah, you're old. Like for a That's comedian? That's a great what first are you, like, question, 60? Chuck. What six- is my deal? Yeah. What's your deal, man? It's open-ended. Man. Yeah. Uh, what? I, don't, I still don't understand. The, the my very first time on stage ever was with you as the host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is about Chuck. Mike, how no. long have you been doing no, comedy? I'm, <laughs> shut up. So Let's get into you weren't stuff. even old enough to drink. No, I, I remember wasn't. that. And you were macking on my knees, by the way. I was slaying it. Uh, and, uh, I was slaying it. No, you were. You were hosting Acme at, I mean, at a pretty young age. Were you doing the contest? Yeah. Oh, man, was I yeah. shit-talking you before the contest? Yeah. Like, this shit- is your one shot. Yeah. No, you, you, you wouldn't even talk to me because I was a Don't newbie. Don't fuck this up, cop boy. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even talk to me because I was a newbie. Like, you're, you're and nobody. you're a cop, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> he is that. You're a cop. Yeah. Yeah, but ex- now you're not, and we're yeah. cool, man. So you were headlining, not headlining. Um, you were, uh, I didn't mean that that way. Yeah, but well. You were, you were working at Acme at the age of 20, yeah, which is impressive. I got shit. hired, yeah. Yeah, so that let's talk crazy. about it. So it isn't That's about awesome. me. It was a segue, Courtney. I like that segue. Segway. How's your niece doing? She's <laughs> asking about you. It's like, who's that guy? Where's that tall alien looking guy? <laughs> I want to get with that Pleiadian looking guy. <laughs> mm, give me those ET fingers. <laughs> yeah. I'm Chuck's knees. <laughs> Phone home. <laughs> that's the extent Elliot. of my character work. Yeah, that's good. That's impressive. Mm, Chuck's knees. Say my name. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so when did you start comedy? I started comedy when I was 17 years old. Oh, so you, that's awesome. You How old are you quickly. now? I am 22 years old now. Oh, so so old. five years, half halfway to my career meaning something. Yep. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. And you, basically, that's the Oh, my God. Different. And you're going to be 27. So basically, you can die, I right? Can and die. you can maybe yeah. join that club. Yeah. You'll yeah. be the first comedian in that 27. I'll club. be headlining New Hope Cinema Grill, and I can die right yeah. after. Uh, yeah. It's a nice joint. <laughs> yeah. I could die in your arms tonight. Yeah, we'll be blasting that song. <laughs> Yeah, oh Who, whoever is covering it at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Mike, do you, oh, good call. do you have a do you have like a favorite show that you've done or like do you tell us some great stories? Oh man, or any stories? You do the work. You just now. did the American Legion. That had yeah. to rock. I mean, American Legion with Michael Thorne that ranked up there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh we well, love Michael Thorne. Yeah, I love him too. I was, yeah. I sort of meant it. <laughs> <laughs> When you when you uh, when you see the American Legions on the calendar, do you do you wonder about okay, is, do I have to have some jokes that are gonna be like American and patriotic? You worry about the crowd. Usually, you get to the venue and it's so unique, you can just make jokes about the venue pretty easily. Like I was making jokes about how the stage was so big. I'm like, oh, they usually do Civil War reenactments on the stage. It's like, ah, we're doing Bunker Hill this Saturday. Who's bringing the muskets and like shit like that? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You just, you just you know you say it's like this is the scariest place I've ever performed and like they. Mm-hmm. 
usually mm-hmm. laugh at that. But <laughs> use that. Yeah, the legions are fun because uh, very attentive crowds, and they usually uh, they buy a lot of merch. So oh really? Wow. So really? I usually try to take any legion gig I can. <laughs> now that do I you censor people. yourself and go? Okay, can't say that joke tonight. Obviously. Uh, I, like the whole wacky burn the American flag joke you yeah, got? Yeah, yeah, that chunk. Man, uh, I love closing on that. But sometimes yeah. At the just, Legion, no, yeah, you can't. Yeah. I did a lot of anti-religion stuff Friday oh, that they oh. didn't particularly care about. Wow, that surprises me. Yeah, yeah it surprised yeah. me too. Sometimes the weirdest crowds come out. And I just, did anti-Mormon, and it's yeah. like dead sign. I'm like, we're not all Mormon, guys. No one <laughs> in here is Mormon right now. <laughs> No one was Mormon. No one's going to be Mormon from this crowd. (laughs) None of you have ever traveled outside Minnesota or seen Utah. (laughs) Did they? You're not. They were in the war. Of course, they traveled outside. Did you actually say that to them? Oh yeah, yeah. I went on a long time. They they were loving it. (laughs) They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Mormon. (laughs) Take that. (laughs) Shoot them. We're not really Mormon, but (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Is there a trick? Uh, Do you have crowds that turn on you? And is there a trick to get them back? So many crowds that turn on me. Because, uh, yeah, I tend to say whatever I want to. Mm-hmm. So, you yeah. know, you kind of, you know, we're all familiar with my act <laughs> here, most of us. <laughs> so I tend to run into some trouble, but I usually, there, there's some fail safes to get them back on my side. I'll either talk about myself or my family, and they're like, holy shit, he's so fucked up. This all makes <laughs> sense now. Yeah. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with your family? Oh, boy. Well, how much that, time you that's got? That's like three podcasts. I do. <laughs> well, one for each of them. Give me uh, just a slice. <laughs> one for each one of them. One for each of them. Uh, my, uh, Sister and mom are bipolar. Oh, uh, wow. Dad is kind of borderline schizophrenic. So mm. you know, we ru- we we have our moments. We have a lot of weird moments. What do you? Can I come over for Thanksgiving? They yes, you can. <laughs> Armed, bring Armed. Your, bring your gun. <laughs> Settle some arguments. Well, Easter's coming up. Do you yeah. have a family get together for Easter? Yeah, or? yeah. I'll probably go to my dad's side of the family and do like egg coloring and pretend to care about what's going on around me. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't care about You should Easter. color all the eggs with that invisible crayon. I'm Just like put like satanic. Color. I'm thinking satanic. the zodiac symbol. There you on go. There you go. <laughs> or, or just black. Just... <laughs> Dad, I made this for you. Because there's 12 eggs and it doesn't. I know what you are, son. I'm not the Zodiac. I do this every year. You're the fucking Zodiac. Where were you in 1968? Oh, my God. Hey, uh, Mike, I he never liked you. was listening to some music. Oh, oh, my God. Zodiac, yeah. this is why he killed this song. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> No, Mike, I, I never liked you, but now that you've revealed yourself, I know what you're about, and I feel bad, and I like you now. You like, the, yeah. you like that I like the Zodiac? No, I like that you're, it's I a feel bad book. for your childhood and makes you me embrace it. You feel bad for my childhood? Yeah. I haven't even described it yet. Yes, you just did, as much as I How need to How would you know. describe your childhood? Uh, Still calm. happening? Ooh, chaotic. <laughs> Still going Still on? Still happening? No, nah, 22. I'm, I'm a little, I, I'd like to say the childhood's still going on, <laughs> but... Even at 22, though, you have a more youthful appearance. Does that get in your way? No, it it yeah, it's great. Because if great you had to look young, guys, yeah, don't yeah, yeah, I know. Anyone Trust tell me. you different? <laughs> <laughs> People tell me I look like I'm in my late twenties all the time. Yeah. It makes me feel good. Rusty and I too. We got carded yeah. at the bar. I mean, it was crazy. Yeah, They're like you can't at the Legion. In. Yeah, we're trying to get into I'm a Mike wait, Lester I'm, show. I'm waiting for Hell the Stevie yeah. Wonder joke. It's Come so on. <laughs> <laughs> No, looking youthful, I mean, uh, you know, you get the usual, like, barbs from your friends, but other than that, it's, I, I, I like, I like the way I look. I like me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Breakthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I like me. Wow. I'm good this enough. This has been an important show. <laughs> now, yeah, for those who haven't seen Mike Lester in person, you do have a unique look. Oh, I got, yeah. I'm Alfred E. Newman. Yeah. To the fucking T. <laughs> oh, where's my money, man? Where's my money? You stole my face. We're, we're More ma- of a slacker, Alfred E. Yeah. Newman. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. 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 We're, we're making it sound like Mike's. I mean, you're like a unique look, but I just think he just looks young, and that's yeah. it. I mean, yeah. you just look like a white yeah. kid. 
Yeah. yeah. So a very young white kid. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if you were a pedophile, that would be so in your favor. You could just. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, whoa! A local Rust, comedian, Rusty Justin knows. Colucci, has a great joke about me. He said Mike Lester would have been a serial killer, but his parents couldn't bring themselves to molest him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's my favorite joke. <laughs> That's so horrible. It's my fucking favorite joke. <laughs> That's why I love him so much. Oh. That is funny. Oh. That's horrible. He <laughs> texted me that at like 2 a.m. one night. Like, I just thought of a good zinger for oh. you. Oh, I'm like, That's you awesome. zing the shit out of me. That, that, is, God, that you, is friendship, yeah. you guys. Yeah, it is. That is friendship. Yeah. My creepy point was that he could be in high school. He looks like a high school kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. He's a cop. I knew it. Yeah. Oh. 21 Jump Street. Narc. Be an uh, undercover narc, narc guy. Yeah, narc. 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 Cop with a vaporizer in my 98 <laughs> Honda Civic with the Sweet. bumper tape to the front of it. <laughs> You'd be the coolest kid at high school. So, cop. <laughs> I, was, I was okay in high school. I started doing comedy, so I was kind of a little bit uh-huh. of an outcast because they were like, oh, yeah. He fucking goes to Station 4 and does the open mic on Tuesdays. And I'm like, why is that a reason to judge me? Right, right, None yeah. you go there. None Dude, when there. I, I wish when I was in high school I got involved in, like, real world stuff. Like, stuff outside of my high school. I mean, I did a lot of theater and stuff, which was, took up my time. But and what I'm saying I, here, look, I'm turning it to me. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, ad, I'm, in, I'm have a lot of admiration for people like you and like kids that have gone to the Brave New Workshop. Like when mm-hmm. they're in <laughs> when they're like 16 <laughs> or 17, Absolutely. it's just yeah. and and I wish that I had started doing stuff when I was like earlier. You know, yeah. Look at That's Josh funny. Weinstein, our guest. I mean, he made a career. Starting comedy at the age of 15. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the exactly. crazy counterpoint to it is I wish I would have done more theater now that I look back. Oh, yeah. Really? For real? Yeah, because I love theater. And uh, I I mean, I yeah, just every aspect of it. I love watching plays. And I, uh, I'm taking a class at UCB late May. I'm going to mm-hmm. take an intensive Where? course. In New York. In New York? In New Excellent. York. I'm going to take an intensive course because mm-hmm. uh, I want to like get a good foundation for improv. And mm-hmm. I figured I'd learn from the best in the world. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. I, Not that we don't have a great improv scene here. I just yeah. want to learn from like the people yeah. that had a hand in like yeah. what John Stewart does. And uh-huh. Yeah. I have to say, and this people. is my experience only, but I took levels uh one through three of UCB when I lived in New York, I didn't finish level three because I did not like it. Yeah. But that's just my experience. And Why then I came like and it? I finished yeah. I don't know. Show it me just, on the I've doll where that, they hurt you. I've heard that story too. Like yeah. like they'll pet like cause it's like you you have to do certain things to pass the levels, so you might not necessarily be with like better people each mm-hmm. time. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like you might be a in, like with improv 101 you might have a better class than you do at like level three or four yeah it's really weird the way it works like you go oh you go to two shows and you're in this you do a show saturday and we'll do the wheelbarrow uh-huh. we'll do the wheelbarrow exercise <laughs> and you rec- who can never get creative with the wheelbarrow gets passed and it's like what what <laughs> what <laughs> Think like fucking 60 things to do with the wheelbarrow can i teach the class <laughs> yeah, right yeah but when it, so when are you going out there? May twenty sixth through the thirtieth. Oh out. wow! Oh it's my gosh! Four day Super deal. intensive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good two, for you. Two classes a day because what's what's crazy about UCB is like if you go for their two week classes, like they fill up right away within yeah. minutes. Like you gotta go to the Twitter feed; they're already filled up. So yeah. I decided like. I'm going to do what I can. I got a free place to stay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'll just delve into that. And yeah, a- What's UCB for those of us who don't? Upright know. Citizens Brigade. Oh, right, right, right. Joker okay. not. I know. Amy yeah. Poehler was Amy in Amy Poehler was yeah. one of the original. John yeah, yeah. Stewart. John That's Stewart. Cool. Yeah. So many people. Yeah. That changes John everything Stewart's for me. a quitter. Yeah. 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 That is awesome. He I mean, is that a quitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Way to have a show for over a have decade. <laughs> 16 <laughs> years. Oh, course. my gosh. What was the show that Jon Stewart had on MTV? MTV. Do oh, we remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, he had a couple Made. of projects. Yeah. 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 He was on Made. Made? Yeah. But didn't he have... Oh, he didn't no, he he have like a John Stewart Made. show? Oh, he yeah. had the John Stewart yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah anyway. Yeah. Back in the 90s. Back when he was... If you were on Made, Back when he was Jewish. What would John Stewart want to be made into? Mike Lester. Uh, I want to be Mike Lester. Yeah, I, I just like, all right, these two adults are going to yell at you and tell you you're not good enough for like six hours, and then you'll be me probably. <laughs> wow. Have your parents seen your comedy, and what yeah, do they say? they love it. 
They oh, love yeah. it. They're like so raw, so yeah. honest. You I'm have like, some a lot of stuff on your dad. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Not as much dad anymore, and that's uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to do the next two months. Is uh, I don't have as many local gigs, so I want to kind of write a new twenty on the fam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everyone gets yeah. some new stuff from me, mm-hmm. but not as much because my dad was like a bus driver, and there's a lot of stuff I haven't touched. Like my dad was a city bus driver. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You, like you have, have you guys met my dad? No. Chuck, you've met my Maybe. dad. Have I? No, I haven't. Oh god. One once you meet him, you're gonna say this guy. There's no way he was a bus driver. <laughs> Why? Because he is so drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> and he drove drunk for like 20 years. Oh my awesome. God. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it would awesome. be like vodka milk, then so let's drive gross. the five line. Oh, like, oh my yeah. God. The only we could deal with those people. Yeah. Oh my God. He never had an accident, though, and he yeah. won a lot of awards. He was a really good he bus won a driver. Lot of awards. He won a lot of bus <laughs> driving awards. Oh, that's awesome. He took home the bus. Oh my God. Just Five. never. The bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <know>. The bus. <laughs> <laughs> he took home the tranny. So they don't come up to you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's a callback I, I for us. I see what you did there, right? Yeah. yeah. We're, <laughs> we were talking about trans at the beginning of the show. So they don't come up to you and go. Trans people. Oh, That's very hurtful. Those jokes are hurting us. My parents are, are stone. Like, my mom roasts me all the time. Like, it's just roast zone when I'm at, at <laughs> Roast home. zone. It, it's, it's roast zone. They don't, they don't care. So, some stuff. My dad hates... When I do religious stuff, because he's super gung ho Catholic, but well, know, free wine. That's kind of that's kind of yeah, yeah. That's kind of why I do it, just to piss him off. <laughs> Vodka. Because I'm and super. Milk. Yeah, I'm not into that at all. Tonight's the Bieber roast, by the way. What <laughs> is that just tonight? Just Bieber roast yeah. airs tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Iron Sheik is going to be on it. Is he really? It's going to be so good. Yeah, <laughs> Sheiky Bubba. Bieber, <laughs> fucking jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> I break your back, make you humble. <laughs> You're not going to break Justin Bieber's back, aren't you? <laughs> God, I wish he would, but So he wait, the, the roast of Justin Bieber hasn't happened yet? No, it, it, it got was taped. taped. It was yeah. filmed. It was and taped. And they leaked some sound bites in the day oh, those things were I, I, I honestly I might not is, watch it. This is old news as yeah, far as yeah. I'm concerned already. The James yeah. Franco roast really left a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, really? Just so mu- many homophobic jokes, and it's like, guys, come on, like, you're a you're attacking one aspect that's like not necessarily really cool to joke about anymore because it's like it's not a bad thing to be gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a roastable thing to Is be. Is James gay. Franco gay? No, he's oh. not even gay. It's oh. just a and joke. It's not yeah. even a bad oh, oh, thing. So it's if like yeah. it were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's just I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's well, the, just I have I have gay friends and. It's just, mm-hmm. it doesn't sit Wait well. Wait a minute, a all. comedian who has gay friends? Yeah. I've never heard well, of Well, he wants to be in theater, though. So. Oh, they want to really be in theater. Yeah, yeah. so that makes sense. No oh my gosh, Mike, I, seriously, when you said that, I'm like, okay, how do I get Mike in theater? Let's I get you be in theater. theater. I want to I want to put you in a show somehow. W- you we'll should happen. put me in a show as all an right. understudy. <laughs> We've worked together you're all, on the cause theater. Because you, so, you, you are a working comedian. You work a lot, right? I do. I was I was pretty busy the past seven months, and I went on a 21-day run with uh, uh, John Conroy. Fun. He was, he was a really great comic. Wow. So getting to learn from yeah. him in those 21 days was insane. And then uh, I came back and had a week off and did Comedy Cafe. And now I just kind of have two months to, you know, like I said, write, write, my mm-hmm. new, write all my new stuff. So once I... Do this big sprint to local gigs this summer. Mm-hmm. Everyone will have new stuff to see and enjoy. So mm-hmm. I'm doing it for you guys. Do you yeah. have a Do you have a show coming up uh, in town soon? I have a show with Steve Gillespie, who is another great mm-hmm. comic. It's uh, April 17th and 18th at the Comedy Corner Underground. Nice. Excellent. And then the 17. next week, I will be in Miami at my leisure, doing nothing. Hey. Nice. Wow. So if you want to come do Miami drugs with me <laughs> on 420, find me. Yeah. I'll be at Turf Club 420. Oh, you not, will? not performing, but I'll uh-huh. be watching Lightning Bolt. Oh, nice. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And cool. you'll be freshly tanned back from Florida. No, I'll, I'm watching Lightning Bolt, then the next and day I'm the going to Florida. Day. Oh, yeah. good call. I will be coming down from Mushrooms on the plane yeah. to Florida. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> 
So that means I should stop by the turf club if I want some mushrooms that night. You you, no. you should stop by the turf club anyways for Lightning Bowl. Okay. They well, are. I'm performing at the Monday Night Comedy Show that night, but the turf club is on my way home. Yeah. Yeah. So perhaps, I don't think they go on. Especially like 10. if I can get yeah. drugs. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All Everyone right. will be on acid there. I'm sure. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> That's you hear that, coppers? Do you hear that? <laughs> Everyone Chuck, on acid Chuck at the text, turf club. Chuck is sure. texting the cops right now. See? He's See? just got him in his phone as the cops. The cops. The cops. <laughs> no, I have it in there as me. <laughs> you're myself. making color notes right now. Uh, no, you reminded me that Andy wanted me to let, remind him to put me up on Monday night. Oh, hell yeah. I forgot to. I'm late Maybe now. I'll stop by the Monday tonight. We're still broadcasting, by the way. Yeah, we oh, are. Oh, hi, yeah. Rusty. When yeah. did you get here? Six minutes you left. Sit, Six yeah. minutes left. <laughs> All right. Well, Courtney, do you have anything? For I us? have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Still broadcasting, by the way. <laughs> I just kind of got into private <laughs> messaging and conversations. I'm like, all right. My Lester and I not ashamed of drug use. No, not at all. Um, do a, do as many drugs as you can before you die, guys. <laughs> MikeLesterHumor.com. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like all the ladies will be interested in this. Chocolate might be as good for the brain as. Exercise, oh, which is kind of awesome because yeah. Cello Guy brought me home these wonderful truffles from his uh, little tour this past. Cello Guy, yeah, Yo Yo Ma, uh huh, yep. Hell yeah. I'm I'm uh, wearing foxtails <laughs> with Yo Yo Ma concert cellist. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, it might be they say because essentially you'd have to eat, and I quote. A shit ton of it in order to reap the benefits from the flavanols, those awesome little yeah. chemicals that Did are naturally occurring. Did it say shit ton? Uh, yeah, but that's in Jezebel. Oh, right. yeah. So Jezebel talks like that because they have a different so well, measuring wow. system. Right. <laughs> yes. Um, if you're near your period, which I kind of am, this oh. is this is what wow. the uh, person... now you have my attention. <laughs> 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 Consuming a shit ton of just about anything isn't really a problem, but we're talking 44 pounds of that good good a day, according to Oxford University Press. Oh. You would have to eat 44 pounds a day for it to be as good for your brain, chocolate, as exercise. So first, <sighs> what about your like, body? As far yeah, as what's good for your body, that's the thing. Body. We'll your see. Your heart I know. will stop beating, and but people, your brain will be fantastic. And people want to separate the brain and the body when really it is all one thing. You, you know, will look technically, like Melissa yes. McCarthy, but your brain <laughs> will be top. Notch. If I can get the jobs of Melissa McCarthy in, oh, you don't want those jobs. Yeah, yeah. I'll take them. I don't care. The heat. Would out. you star in the I heat? Am, I am old enough now that I will take them. Yeah. I would not oh. star in the heat. Paychecks. No, I don't know. Paychecks. Yeah, paychecks. Think oh, of the Tammy was think of the paycheck. The We're all yeah, fun. yeah. I think yeah. she sold out a little bit. Like after Bridesmaids, she's like, okay, I have this certain window, so I got to do every movie I can, which yeah. like so many stars think. Uh. But it's like if she would have picked and choose, she probably yeah. could add like three really good movies. Yeah. 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 She's but always been great on Saturday Night Live. She's yeah. one of the Best stars yeah. that yeah. show up and actually. She's super yeah. funny. That's yeah. why, again, like she should just pick and choose. Just. Do you think that as a large woman that she has that luxury in Hollywood to, to pick and choose? Or do you think that she was like, I have this window before somebody tells me. Although she's on the, you know how Alec Baldwin has that thing in 30 Rock where you have to either lose 30 or gain 60. And yeah. she's on the gain 60 side. Yeah. So um, I don't know. She lost weight this it's spring. Definitely, oh, did she? Yeah. Well, then it's over. She's on her way yeah. out. It's definitely she's not gonna be a hard typecast to work with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the heavier set yeah. woman. Mm-hmm. But I, I think, again, if she would have held out, she kind of seemed like, I'm going to make three movies in a row and I don't care what they are. Yeah. Oh, really? And, you know, it's, it's, you know, she's got a family, I'm sure. And it's like, yeah. you got to make money. And also, like, yeah. you make these movies and even if they're shit, you're making them with your friends. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Beverly Hills Ninja killed Chris Farley, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what killed Chris <laughs> Farley. No, like that, the failure of that yeah, movie yeah. drove him to relapse. Oh, yeah. like, really? Oh, well, oh he, interesting. He, wa- yeah. he watched Beverly Hills Ninja and he was like, I need to fucking relapse right yeah. away. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> here's the uh, here's the thing with uh, what's her name McCarthy though. Mm-hmm. The Tammy was a horrible movie, but she wrote that with her husband, and it starred Shirley MacLaine, a uh-huh. legendary actress. Yeah. So here's a project you wrote with your husband, starring Shirley MacLaine, and still tanked. That's a choice she made. Yeah. yeah. She she wrote it, but uh, again, it's. 
you you got horrible. You got it's terrible, <laughs> yeah. but you got to bring Hollywood into account and how yeah. many times that original script was edited and That's what she true. wanted in there and what she didn't want in there and what was eventually put in there. Like Hollywood waters down everything to the point it's terrible nowadays. Like watch independent films, guys. Don't yeah, she was theaters. she was don't. good in Saint Vincent as the supporting Saint Vincent. Very oh good movie. yeah, God, yeah. great. So movie. I don't yeah. think she's down for the count yet, and I think oh. some of the choices she's making. She's not going in with thinking this is just a paycheck. I think yeah. Hollywood is Hollywood, and yeah. it's hard to make a yeah. successful movie. But I think right away after Bridesmaids, she was kind of oh, like yeah. trigger happy with yeah. picking. Yeah. She but, got uh, a lot of offers. I'll say about St. Vincent, which is an awesome movie. I yeah. forgot that was even her. Yeah, yeah. That, good point. I mean, yeah. to, to the point where she was unrecognizable to me because mm-hmm. she wasn't playing her stereotype. She did a very nice job. She didn't yeah. fall through a fence or yeah, yeah. <laughs> fall through <laughs> a car. Or wacky or fat pet falls. <laughs> oh, funny fat lady that, falling. That uh, movie with Jason Bateman. I'm a huge Jason Bateman fan. Oh, God, fan. yes. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. the bad ones I love yeah. watching, yeah. even though yep. he's almost the same guy yeah. in each yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, that was not a great movie, but yeah. they together mm-hmm. they had some moments. It's God, a good, yeah. likable. Yeah. yeah, it's a good dollar rental. Yeah, yeah. Jason Bateman, even his bad movies, he still kind of pulls off. Yeah. 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 you feel for him somehow. Yeah. You're like, I'm that guy. I can He's totally relate it. to you. He, there's somebody I'm thrilled for who like. We thought he was going to be like a teen idol, yeah. Yeah, and then well, he dropped off the face wolf. of the earth. Oh, yeah. And now he's yeah, Teen Wolf too. Yeah. And now he's back in it. Juno, brilliant. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was great. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, Arrested Development. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh snap! Bank robbery suspect Stanley Getty arrived in taxi drunk. <sighs> what? He arrived to the bank to rob in a taxi. Uh huh. You shouldn't bring a sandwich to a banquet, and you probably shouldn't arrive to a bank robbery by taxi, especially if you're drunk. But that's what Stanley Getty did Wednesday afternoon, according to police in Tallahassee, Florida. When He's just taking me up to the bank. I'll be right out. Just keep it running. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought I was sitting next to my mom for like five seconds. <laughs> Mac, just take the fucking sandwich to the bank and bring up some money so I can retire. <laughs> <laughs> so I can retire. <laughs> uh, when, look good on paper, but no, the execution. <laughs> when Getty 46 arrived at the Central City Bank, he owed twenty five fifty. <laughs> he allegedly <laughs> he allegedly told the driver, "I will take care of you when I come out." According to <laughs> take care of you. Getty then walked to the bank and asked to speak to the manager. I demand to speak to the manager. <laughs> He's the worst bank robber ever. When the manager invited him into his office, Getty allegedly said, I'm here to rob the bank. <laughs> so if you could go and do that, that'd be great. <laughs> he also told the manager he was carrying a 357 gun and C4 plastic. Oh, he went with the C4. C4 plastic explosives and would blow this place up if he didn't get $100,000 mm. while in a nice chat with the manager. Witnesses. Only a hundred grand they had yeah, that more in the bank. Yeah, I think no. so. I feel gun to the, the his. And the giant lollipops. I want that too. <laughs> All <laughs> right, Mom, pen. calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Witnesses told police that Getty seemed drunk during his alleged bank robbery by taxi. Uh, concerned tellers contact bank police. robbery alleged. by ta- Wait yeah. here. Alleged. Yeah. He's not convicted. Everyone is good. <laughs> Innocent until proven guilty. What is All wrong right. with you people? <laughs> Concerned tellers contacted police who quickly arrived on the scene and met up with the disgruntled cab driver who explained that Getty was drunk and had stiffed him on the fare. He was waiting out there. He hadn't come out yet. <laughs> After arriving at the bank, he left in an ambulance. He was taken to a no. nearby hospital treated for stun gun wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Self-inflicted, probably. Yes. So the arrest went well. Charged with robbery, resisting an officer, two probation violations, and being Mike Lester's mother. Was it a good sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> disgruntled cab driver. That sounds like a really shitty SNL character. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like Everyone I met on the overnight shift in Bloomington, Minnesota. <laughs> yes. So that's so all. That's, all right. Okay. All right. Was that Cop Talk with Chuck that's Cop, that's Cop Talk. What's Cop's Cop Corner? Talk. Every morning we yeah. end with Cop Talk. Cop, yeah. Cop Talk. Cop's corner, Which I means like we're that. ending. We're ending. You know Thanks, how we've been trying to work on an opening theme song? I think I may have found a closing theme song. Oh. Of course it's up for debate, but uh, you see what you think about this for... Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck, Fuck this shit, shit I'm, I'm out. out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened. PG version. Why? Screw this poop, I'm out. Screw this poop, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. 
fuck do we like it? I like it. Love it. Yep. It's explicit. So now, have, now we have a closing song. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Voted. Oh my God! Historical moment. I'm yeah. here for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where can we find you on the on the Twitters and Facebooks uh, and whatnot? Add Mike Lester Humor on Twitter and uh, fan page on Facebook is Mike Lester Funny and website is MikeLesterHumor.com. Those, those are all clever names. I like those. They are. Yeah. I'm a clever guy. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and remember, you can always find the Twin Cities Hit Show at www.TwinCitiesHitShow.com on the face at, on the Twitters at Cities Hit Show or our Facebook page Twin Cities Hit Show. Mike wants me to close with this, so I got it. God <laughs> damn it. He's all, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> all right, who we got out fuck tomorrow? Fuck this shit, I'm uh, out. We don't know yet? We, we got don't somebody. know yet. Right, yeah, we'll I, thought, I thought we had Chris Maddock, but now he's telling me that he can't do it. So. Jeff DeBay says he'll do it. <laughs> I'll be on again. Praise the devil. <laughs> well, all Hail then. Satan. <laughs> Twin City Sit Show, Twin City Sit Show, Twin City Sit Show. Satan, Satan, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Satan. It's over. The hit show is over. You've been listening to the Twin Cities Hit Show with Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck. Now go home, unless you're already home.